This is the Movie Geeks Film News Podcast Network. And you are watching... Oh, really? Okay. Hi everyone, it's Mark from mgfn.co.uk and this is the Kessel Run Tube Cast, a YouTube exclusive podcast where I record my random Star Wars musings on my commute to and from work. I'm on my way home from work today, so I am tired. Um, this is episode four, which will also be known as A Tale of Two Billies. Um, this week, Lawrence Kasdan made a comment about the absence of Lando Calrissian from Star Wars The Force of Awakens. Lawrence Kasdan is a screenwriter of uh, films like Empire Strikes Back, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and now The Force Awakens. And it was very interesting, he addressed the, the lack of Billy D. Williams from the lineup of the new film, and uh, said that he didn't think that we'd seen the last of Lando Calrissian. Now, I think what's going to happen is we'll see Lando in the second film. I think we'll see him in episode eight. Now, I don't know if uh, Lawrence Kasdan is writing anything to do with episode eight. I believe that's all Ryan Johnson writing and directing episode eight. So maybe he's just developing story outlines. Perhaps he's going to get an executive producer credit or something. I don't know. He may have some hand in developing the story. And I suspect that he will be involved with bringing Lando into that movie, which would be more than welcome. Obviously, Lando was a fantastic addition to the original trilogy. He came in to the series when there was a distinct lack of diversity in the cast. And you can't claim that now, of course, but how can you have Star Wars films about Lando? He's crucial. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of the ring theory to do with Star Wars. You, you may want to Google that. Go and have a look for Star Wars ring theory. But it kind of acknowledges the fact that there are there's rhythms in the Star Wars movies, echoes, um, that see uh, story points, plot points, other elements repeat themselves. We discussed it briefly in episode 3 when we spoke about Revenge of the Sith and the uh, Anakin Dooku duel and how similar that was to the Darth Vader Luke Skywalker duel. So if there is anything to this ring theory we could be seeing the, uh, an echo if you like in this sequel trilogy of films where we see Lando introduced in the second chapter. What we have seen, should be acknowledged, what we have seen in the trailer for The Force Awakens, the second teaser trailer, is kind of a hint that at least Bespin will be represented in the new film because we see Luke's lightsaber being passed from one person to another in that, in that trailer. We believe that that's Maz Kanata, the pirate, played by Lupita Nyong'o, passing the lightsaber to... Uh, Leia, whether she's Princess or Queen, Queen Leia. So that lightsaber was lost on Bespin. So we are at least getting Bespin acknowledged in some small way in the new movie. Now maybe that means Bespin will get an, an extra bit of exposure in the next movie, in episode 8. And it makes me wonder whether or not that's where we'll see Lando. Did, did Lando return to Cloud City after the fall of the Empire? Did he go back to private life, Baron Administrator of the uh, mining facility? I'm really quite keen to see that. And if he's going to return to the saga, return in the, in the way we saw him before. Uh, maybe a little bit more trustworthy than he was before. But see him as the Baron Administrator of Cloud City in Episode 8. And something I would like to see as well is, sadly we lost um, John Hollis, the actor who brought Lobot to life uh, a few years ago, I believe. So 
let's see if we can recast Lan Lobot get someone that looks very similar to John Hollis strap that headgear on him and have uh, a much older hopefully wiser Lando with an identical um, cyborg manservant if you like with him that that would be a nice little tribute to John Hollis if we could bring Lobot back uh, so that's one Billy. Will we see Billy D. Williams return in episode 8? The return of Lando Calrissian, seeing as he's missing from episode 7. I think we could. Hopefully we'll see him back in Bespin and uh, back to his charming cape-wearing ways. So on to the second Billy. Billy Lord, Carrie Fisher's daughter. She's long been rumoured to have been cast in The Force Awakens as a young version of Princess Leia in a flashback scene. Well, she was recently interviewed on Entertainment Tonight when she um, shot that rumour down and said, no, it was an out and out lie. She is not playing the young Princess Leia, but she would love to play Princess Leia and she offered Disney her services if she was needed. Now, I don't believe she's been officially confirmed as having any involvement in The Force Awakens, but I think it's pretty much a done deal that she's going to be in there. So the question is, what function could she be performing in The Force Awakens? Could she be playing, perhaps, the daughter of Han and Leia? A, a resemblance to Carrie Fisher is uncanny. She sounds the absolute spit of a mum. So, could she be playing... A daughter, maybe a handmaiden, um, perhaps, but is something that is quite interesting. Outside of The Force Awakens, there has been talk of um, some artists' impressions, some concept work that was produced for Rogue One. Now, this is potentially spoilery, so if you don't want to hear anything spoilery for Rogue One, then you might want to skip the rest of this episode. But the talk is that the final moments of Rogue One will involve Bail Organa, the Tantive Four, and a young Princess Leia. Now, if we are going to see Billy Lord play Princess Leia, could it be here? Is there room to get Billy Lord on there in the white dress with the with the star puff hairstyle? I think so. I'd, I'd be glad to see her play something in The Force Awakens, and if she's playing Princess Leia and Han Solo's daughter in, in that movie, then great. Um, but a nice little cameo as the young Princess Leia in in the closing moments of Rogue One would be equally as welcome. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you expect to see a return of Lando Corrissian? Are you going to miss Billy D in episode 7? Do you think Billy Lord could be portraying a young Princess Leia in Rogue One? And have a speculate. What do you think she's going to be doing in Force Awakens if she's in, if she is actually in Force Awakens? Don't forget, vote for Kyle. Let us know what you think of this podcast. Um, next time, I think we'll probably look at the Skywalker saga, what it means for the third trilogy in the Star Wars saga. I'll see you then.